Welcome to Men's Style Fashion. Thank you, thanks for having me. You're looking uh, incredibly handsome. Thank you. Who are you? And talk us about some of the highlights of your career so far. Definitely. Well, my name's Connor. I'm Scurlock, I'm 19, I'm from Essex in Colchester. Um, basically, I'm a part-time model as well as working at an established magazine called Essex Style Magazine. Um, I run the events there, I'm a director of events. Um, obviously, I take a big input within fashion. Um, obviously, being a model myself, I want to get the best fashion out there, I want to have the best look, I want to create my own look. Um, with Essex, you know, we sort of, we set trends in Essex. Everyone's got their own sort, sort of, like, trend as such. So, one week you might have skinny jeans and a pair of night trainers, you know. Um, next week you might have a baggy t-shirt come in. Everyone's, everyone's changing, but everyone seems to follow the same look around in Essex. So, obviously, now we've got a big part of the show, Towie, obviously the only way is Essex. Right, can I stop you there? Mm. Right, um, Connor, where is Essex? Mm. The only way is Essex. Can you talk us through the whole concept? Right, so we've obviously, in Essex, we've got a big TV show on ITV at the moment. Um, it's called The Only Way is Essex. Yeah. Um, it's run in Brentwood, so you've got the clubs, the big feature clubs of Sugar Hut, and you've got, it's a reality TV show, so you've got your stars. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a recent show, um, The Only Way is Vegas. They all went to Las Vegas. <laughs> So obviously, for all you American followers, they're going to be out there. They were out there filming, they did the show. Um, but yeah, it's basically a collective of stars now. They are celebrities. They were just average people like myself. But now they're running their own, own fashion shops. They've got their own clothing labels. And it's basically just following their everyday lives, you know, catching up on relationships um, and things like that. So you've got all the gossip around Essex and you keep up to date with the latest trends, the latest cars, the latest shops, the latest relationships, all the gossip. It's all there for you to watch on live screen. Obviously, it's edited for your entertainment, but it's, it's a really good show. It's a really good have show. you been on the show? Um, I have. I've been doing extra work and obviously with the magazine I work for, Essex Style Magazine, it's obviously a big part of the show. You know, we interview all the celebrities on there. We've got a fashion editor there who's on the show, Bobby Norris. And um, I've Who's done Bobby it. Norris? He is the fashion editor of Essex Star Magazine. There's a character in The Only Way is Essex. Um, quite close with him. He runs, I've done a fashion show with him last Friday, so he runs events as well. Um, basically, he's just a star on the show and he does all the columns in the magazine for the fashion of Essex. So if you want to take a look, we've got the magazine, Essex Star Magazine, so they can read through his column and see what he's talking about, basically. How influential is this The Only Way Essex has become within the UK? Mm. You know, why do people mm. absolutely love it? Definitely. I, honestly, like, for myself, I come to places like London and I say, oh, where are you from? I say Essex. People go crazy. Oh my God, you're from Essex. It's, it is mental. I, I, I can't describe it. Like, obviously, you've got the 14 year old boys growing up. Oh, I want to be like Joey Essex, you know. I've got my skinny trousers on, I've got my Nikes on. I think he did something stupid once. He put a watch on his ankle. <laughs> Who wears a watch on their ankle? Do you know what I mean? You've, you've got people walking down the high street wearing a watch on their ankle. So like, you're not going to tell the time looking at your, looking at your foot. It's just a fashion accessory, you know. It's just a trend that Joey Essex tried to start. Obviously, he's got his clothing range out there now. And typically, myself, I try not to follow it as much as possible. I want to start something myself, you know. I want to come to London. Obviously, with London, you've got the fashion everywhere, you've got different styles, whereas Essex is more one style that everyone follows at once. So, like, typically denim jackets, all went out of fashion, come back into fashion straight away. Camouflage jackets, everyone's wearing camouflage. Leopard print come back in, everyone's in leopard print. You know, everything's changing all the time, and I think the more, the more it changes, you know, everyone starts to copy each other around in Essex, and obviously, don't get me wrong, at night time everyone suits up, blazes up, looks smart, but during the daytime everyone's got the skinny jeans, you know, if you can pull them off, what obviously. What is it with the obsession with the skinny jeans? I mean, the trend obviously started there. Yeah, the trend. So, again, big influence, I think, Joey Essex, you know, Tao, the only way is the show has brought that in. Obviously, I didn't used to wear them, but now with my figure, I thought, actually, you know what, skinny jeans, I'm going to do it, I'm going to pull them off, so... Yeah. Everyone seems to wear that sort of look nowadays. So it's kind of created it to be more fashion conscious. Mm. So is that how the guy thinks? You know, they're inspired by role models. Definitely. So 
obviously, if you if you look good on the outside, you're going to feel good on the inside. You know, what I mean? so if you go out, you're going to feel confident. You know, you might if you feel like you look good, you're going to feel like you can talk to people and socialise with the crowd and mix in and, and fit in with everyone. That's what everybody wants. They want to fit in with everyone at the moment in Essex. Everyone wants to be. You know, like the top dog as such. They want to look the best, they want to be the best. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's different. It is different to other places and other cultures. Why do you think we're so celebrity obsessed? Why do you think we want to be on TV and famous? I don't, the fame, obviously, it comes. Everyone wants to be on TV, everyone wants to be famous. Obviously, because of the money and the perks, and everyone wants to. I don't know, it's easier, it's an easier way of life for people. If they're, if they're famous, you know, you get you get your free clothes, you get your PRs, you get you get everything else. You get, like you say, you can come to clothing shops, get your clothes, you can say, oh, I'll, I'll put this on my Twitter, I'll give you a shout out, something like that. Everything's revolved around social media. You know, myself, I've got quite a big follower base now, everything I do, so it's quite good for myself. You know, I can have clothing companies come to myself, offer me clothes. Obviously, put it on my Instagram, Twitter. It's all there. It's it's all very much to do with the social network nowadays, basically. What's your legacy? What do you want to? What are you trying to get out of it? You want to be famous, rich, and Mr. The Next Beckham? Um, Why are you doing it? I can't really compare myself to Beckham. He's a bit of a better looking geezer than me, but um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, anything like obviously, I'd love the celebrity status. You know, the attention. It's it's awesome. Go out, you know. Obviously everyone wants that line, like when you're out, everyone, oh my God, it's him, he's out, mm -hmm. he's out, can I have a photo, can I have this? I mean, obviously, I don't know how they experience it. But obviously it might get a bit annoying every now and then, having been bombarded by everyone, but it's got to be an excellent buzz, you know, it's got to be awesome. At what cost are you prepared to do this? What cost? Obviously, I'm not going to try out and go out there and do anything like do anything outrageous but obviously I'll take my opportunities as they come um, and I'll do my best to get out there and see if any opportunities come and arise you know I've, I've tried with the TOWIE thing you know I've, I've made a few friends on the show obviously being with my job at the Essex Style magazine I can I've got links in there so potentially in the future I don't know I might something might conjure up that way or or anything any TV shows anything I could possibly get on what about if it doesn't happen if it doesn't you happen, you just don't get noticed, yeah. and you just what I don't know why people do. Joe mm. Blow down the street, he's yeah. nothing. Um, is he nothing. Honestly, every, everyone's a self, you know. Everyone's a somebody to themselves. Everyone's a somebody. You've got. So it's the most important thing I think is family, friends. If you've got that, then you're then you're sorted. If if I don't make it in the big world, in the big celebrity world, then. I'm not going to be bothered because obviously I've I love my friends I love my family I've got I've got what I need basically I've got a nice lifestyle enjoy it and yeah so I'll take it as it comes really if I, if I get there then I get there but I'll keep working hard until I do and if if I don't then so be it I'll just keep doing my modelling and, and working. Anything exclusive coming up that uh, you could give your viewers? Or... Um, I've got a photo shoot on Wednesday for Wayne Lineker. There's a new up and coming. Um, Bracelet jewellery brand, uh, Curbs. Uh, Wayne Lineker, obviously Gary Lineker's brother. He's he's doing the uh, doing the bracelet. So yeah, that's going to be exciting. Big campaign for that as well. Yeah, no jewellery is a lot of men talk mm. about it. There's not enough Definitely. out there. Can you give us anything? What's... I don't want to release too much, obviously, yeah. but um, it is bracelets wear. Um, obviously. There's not really much competition out there at the moment for men's jewellery, I don't think. Yeah. Obviously, myself, I, I know I see quite a, in Essex again, Michael Kors watches, boys will wear girls' watches and girls' girls' jewellery because there's not, there's not much out there, to be honest. So this is potentially a big market for, obviously, Wayne Lineker and his brand for the Curbs bracelets to make a big hit. You come across as a trendsetter. What, what <coughs> are you going to be embracing more and more? Uh, I mean, you look fantastic in Jigsaw. What do you think? Oh, jigsaw. thank you. Oh, I love jigsaw. Obviously, the clothes. It's, it's so upper class. It's so nice and suave. It's different, you know. Um, if I brought this back to Essex, I might get a few looks, but I'd definitely stand out. And obviously, I'd look, I'd look the part, you know. I'd look, and obviously, people might want to so copy. You wear it? Oh, definitely, definitely, one hundred percent, definitely wear it. Brilliant. Um, yes, an up and coming or something that you. Um, mm. Well, let me rephrase it. If you were to design something that hasn't been out there, mm. what would it be? Well, I've tried. I've tried to start my own clothing range, funny enough, actually. Um, due to funding, I couldn't uh, get things together, and obviously with work, I didn't, just didn't have the time with my modelling to fit things in. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely with, I don't know, with, with clothing as such, there's 
every, obviously you've got everything, but I don't, I'd, I'd do something a bit different, a bit out of the way, you know, something along the lines of see-through or something like that, mm. see-through jumpers or something like that with that you could show off, like wear a vest underneath or something like that. Just bring out something totally different, abstract that might not fit in with the, with the Essex look, but obviously when you come to London, you've got all sorts. You've got baggy t-shirts, tight pants, you know, you've got absolutely everything. You keep bringing up London, is that because you can kind of wear anything and hide behind Basic, it and not get oh, too much noticed? I, I, I literally, I love London, you know, I could come here in a pair of lime green trousers and a <laughs> yellow t-shirt and everyone would look at me like I was normal, so it's, it's, it's a great vibe in London, everyone just doesn't care, whereas that's, that's what we've asked. everyone's opinionated in Essex. If, you, mm. if you're wearing something out of the way, everyone will look down and be like, oh, what is he wearing, what's she wearing, you know, and it's very much like that on the show. On the only way as Essex, people will be like, "Oh, what's she wearing?" A lot of gossip about what everyone's wearing if they're not looking good. Oh, did you see what he was wearing? Did you see what she was wearing, you know? So it's very important in Essex to look good and, and fit in with everybody else. Otherwise, you will get spotted and, and literally secluded on your own, excluded in in that in that group as such. Why is that a negative? Because for me, someone mm. that wants to Definitely. be more different, friends mm. out there. For me, that's the way forward. Obviously, that is the way forward. Like, that's why I like this place, London, so much more because you can you can express how you want to dress. Right. Whereas in Essex, if you're out of the way, you know, everyone is going to joke. Everyone's going to be like, "Oh, look, he's wearing a yellow top. He's wearing a yellow. He's wearing. It doesn't fit in." So, but obviously, if you if you are wearing that and you get noticed, then you're going to get the more publicity. You're going to get the you're going to get the links and. Obviously yeah, but stand out there. Everyone was laughing at Beckham when he came out. Exactly, so exactly. Long. Are they laughing at him now? No, exactly. So Beckham's trend setting. Every, obviously, it is the icon. It's the status that starts off the trends. Obviously, if I was to come out and wear a sarong or something in Colchester, where I'm from, oh my God, I'd get torn to pieces. Do you know what I mean? I'd get absolutely destroyed. But if Beckham come there, the boys would next week you see them all in them out in out in town, pair of flip flops. Do you know what I mean?